same time as the last video, around 5.30, so we're in rush hour. Uh, seems to be we're going a different route than most cars, I guess. Uh, we are going to the Atlanta United game, which is not where most people are going, I guess. Okay, so the car behind me just there was confused as to why it took me a while to start again. I didn't touch the accelerator. So far as navigating these tiny roads, okay. I think this is people coming out from school. I'm gonna go ahead and bump the speed up five miles an hour. One thing that's going to be interesting in this video is there's really bad roads. I expect disengagements. And there's also kind of surprise stop signs that didn't used to be on this road, but now are. So I'm curious how the beta will recognize them. Seems pretty much like normal autopilot for now, except for that <laughs> braking event. Okay, here's the stop sign. So it needs to start slowing down right oh now. Oh my god. And it didn't. <laughs> so that's that's what I was wanting to see. And I will snapshot this here. Did you, were you the one who decided to hit the brakes yeah. or it did it? Okay. Yeah, I, that was a complete disengagement. So here's another one coming up. It still doesn't see it yet. Still doesn't see it yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and slow down. I'm also braking really hard. I'm using my actual brakes. So this is not cool. They need to fix this. And I don't know how many people, I guess almost no one watching this video owns a Tesla, but we almost never use our brakes. Okay, so this one's better. Okay. That was nice. It came up perfectly to the line, which is pretty impressive for autopilot. Okay, cool. So that's what it should have done every time. And to be fair, I was going five over, but it, it never even saw them at all. Okay, here's another hidden one. My foot's over the brake. It's too far for me. We need to start slowing down way further. And you're not now five, or you were not five over no. for this one. I don't think so, at least. Okay, so here is where the roads start getting terrible. I'm going to slow down to the speed limit for sure. So... I'll be disengaging for uh, potholes and incorrect lane lines. Like if, if it becomes dangerous where a car is gonna hit me. So that was interesting. It just started uh, slowing down for the line back there, which I'm not even sure what that's for. Um, let's see if it, okay, it waited on this person. It kind of gave him extra room. I think technically it was my turn, but I mean, you can wait if someone is willing to go. This is good. So this is technically a two lane road and we can continue forward in both lanes. So, okay, here's where it's starting to hang out in both. I think it thinks it's a one lane road. Technically, it might. I don't know. This is a crazy lane line. Let's see which one it picks. Yeah, there's not really an eye, a line there. Okay, so now it's going to pick the right-hand uh, line. I don't really like picking this lane because it blocks people who want to turn right on red from turning. Whereas the other one, you need a green light to turn left. So we're both going to go at the same time. You can see it also... Uh, stopped way ahead of the line which is typical autopilot behavior which is why I was so impressed at that stop sign 
and unfortunately there's not really a way to inch up right now because whenever you hit the accelerator here it thinks that you're trying to tell it that the red light is green um, it would be nice to have some sort of like debug UI over here but right now there's not one and this is the the road that the two lanes turn into mm -hmm. one so after this okay very nice so pick the right lane because the truck is gonna okay right there it just tried to go into the left lane which technically was the forward area from the other one so auto steer is off right now and cruise control is on so right now it's confused and i just turned it off again and i just turned autopilot completely off because this road is a mess so there's no lines, there's not very much room on this right side. Uh, the maneuver that I just did probably would have hit me last week on the same drive and someone actually honked at me even though I was in the correct lane, like in the perfect spacing and everything. There's just not enough space for two lanes on this road. And like I said earlier, I'm not sure if this is a two lane road. It should be because there's like at every intersection, there's two decisions essentially. So here you can see, after this nasty pothole, that there's two decisions. So there's, there should be two lanes. And so this is something that the beta is really gonna need to figure out. I'll go ahead and enable it now that we're out of that crazy scenario. So it did what I expected it to do, but that's something that I really want them to see. Unfortunately, all that we have is an email address that doesn't get responded to that often and a snapshot button that basically you can say hey take a look at this data um, and we just kind of hope that they review the data and better it I think right now they're trying to make full self-driving sort of feature complete in quotes which is identifying everything uh, being able to do a left turn being able to do a right turn like like just the basics of driving but it doesn't have any sort of advanced knowledge of driving that anyone over 15 has. And maybe that, maybe that age is up for debate because obviously a 16 year old is still pretty inexperienced, but I don't know. The, the point is that it really needs to get better at situations. So that was just my hands friction on the wheel. I really want to make sure that I have my hands on the wheel. Okay, now it's I'm still trying to go over the left lane. It's going to do that over and over again. Is it, go is it trying to go to the left lane or to be in the middle? Because on this road, the the paint that for, like to divide the two lanes is <laughs> pretty much not there. Right. So that was cool. I'm still on uh, cruise control essentially, and it did sort of slow down for that uh, that scooter. So it definitely, uh, from what I've seen on the on YouTube, it's done really well with bikers and people on the road, pedestrians especially, um, and obviously lead cars, which it was built off of in the first place. to be in the right lane. Now it's back on. And 
another Tesla owner and I have been talking about these roads specifically for, I would say like three months because we're really curious how it would react. Um, I think here's another one. This is gonna be hard for it to find. And just my friction on the wheel turned it off because it was gonna go a different direction. It's not gonna avoid this. That's fine. Um, I think in order to go straight, we need to go in the left lane here. Mm -hmm. um, it usually does not have uh, a sense of urgency, so I did it. It's also taking this left lane change really slow, but that's fine. Uh, it's kind of hugging the double yellow over here. We also don't need to keep going left. That's interesting, so I guess if I make a lane change happen, it doesn't know why or how far over I need to, I want to go. And so it left it on and made me turn it off. It's also kind of like zigzagging in this lane, I'm not sure why. Looks like we might have a light game. There's really not much traffic. Though it is 548 and kickoff is around 740 maybe. 7.38. But yeah, I guess while we're filming, uh, so there's two things that Autopilot are really bad at in terms of sort of lane etiquette it's it doesn't respect the side on a an unmarked road typically unless there's an oncoming car um i guess that makes sense in context but i mean um, it needs to be able to detect when a road is one way and when a road is uh two way and i guess you could do that with map data I know the whole point of vision is to not have to rely on the map when the map is wrong. But if you do know that this is a two lane road, let's say in like a neighborhood or something, stay on the right. And it needs to be able to infer uh, lane lines when there are no lane lines, when there are cars around it. This is also kind of jumpy in a way that I wouldn't do. Especially, I typically have my uh, follow distance set all the way back. Uh, that was really the only way to get to 99. <laughs> I'm one of the 99ers that, that made it into the beta because of the safety score. I drove a 99 for a month. And so at this point, I really want a smooth ride. I do have my setting on average instead of chill. Um, honestly, just because I wanted to see what it does. Um, so maybe I need to set it to chill, I don't know, but from what I've seen online, chill is still pretty assertive. So I think after this intersection, we'll be getting into way more traffic. This is way closer to the stadium, as you can see, and uh, it's not necessarily a difficult drive, but it's an attentive drive. You need to be aware of what people are trying to do. People might be stressed out from having to drive in a high traffic situation. A lot of people came from out of town. AKA that car over there. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I always wanna, again, drive as chill as possible when I'm doing this drive. So it looks like this car beside me wants to get in and uh, that's another thing Autopilot doesn't do yet, is it doesn't communicate with other cars. It's not reading it as it is. If you see, it's like... Yeah, we see when the brake lights are on, but we don't see blinkers. I know they are tracking blinkers, and technically, yeah, this is a situation where they can read that the left blinker is on. It's not showing this car. It wasn't even showing it before, but now it is there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would think it would be nice for AP to know that this car wants to get in and that 
it would be more advantageous for both of us to let the car in instead of create a stressful situation where you know I have to go around or, or something like that like we should just let this car in we're already so far ahead at the green light obviously that's some big brain context for a neural network at this point but it needs to let this driver in my foot is on the brake okay let it in nice so I didn't touch a thing that was all autopilot let's see if it respects these yellow lines it does great job I'm really curious if it took the cars okay, I don't know uh, yeah it's getting on the in. on the bike lane yeah it really needs to respect this fine and recovered but that is some sort of strange behavior um it's still doing it too you know what this is embarrassing <laughs> it was you <laughs> <laughs> that, that proves that my hands are on the wheel though i will say that okay that's embarrassing well at least uh traffic aware cruise control works I wonder how long that's been the case. <laughs> Find it in the video, I guess. Okay, I know we have a lot of straightaway, so I'm going to increase the speed. Okay. I would say that's more the Tesla just being uh, nervous. Obviously, auto steers off now. It sort of swerves for those people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see how it handles this. It's still a little strange. It's kind of weaving. So coming up is another really cool opportunity for it to impress me. Um, it's not just this light, but also a turn sort of into an unmarked area. Let's see how it does this. The I, crazy railroad thing. Yep. So that was me disengaging again just because I have my hands on the wheel. Not tight, but securely okay this is something where I need to change lanes to go around okay good job so let's see if it changes it needs to change I'll just change and it doesn't want to change okay let's try it again this turn on to Baker is gonna be the it's like an S-turn that's going to be, I would imagine, pretty difficult for it. I don't know why it wanted to turn there. It still does. I uh, will just do the turn then. And as you can see, this is really poorly marked. So, um, it is what it is. I'm going to lower the speed here because this is also really poorly marked and it's... Welcome to the blue lot for... What is it doing? I have no idea what it's doing here. <laughs> I also don't want to die. Yeah, we uh, check for trains. Getting hit by a train. Okay, so this is again marked. Let's just see if it follows it. I'm going to take my sunglasses off because it's... Nope. Oh my god. The weirdest part is that, like, <laughs> whenever it's making a mistake, it speeds up. Yeah, it's because <laughs> the speed is set here, and yeah, the, the speed have, has also been really disappointing for me because it's it's not just potholes like this. It's also, uh, I mean, this is a tight area, and it knows it is. This, the drivable space is really low, so it doesn't have to go 29 miles an hour. Um, 
also haven't tested if uh, it slows down for speed bumps. Um, but anyway, we are at our destination, and that is the current state of FSD beta.